what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? Singer Sean Kingston appeared on BBC Radio 1's Smash with Sloth to discuss a myriad of topics from his young success, music, and the women he's dated which reportedly included the great tennis star, Serena Williams. Host Charlie Slott asked Sean Kingston to name the most famous woman he's adult wrestled with, and he fixed his mouth to say Serena Williams. He went on to say, that was somebody I really looked to for advice. I used to work out with her. She was just always somebody that really, really looked out for me and made sure that I was good. He said that she was supportive during his time of recovery from a jet ski accident. He said, I knew what I had, but I just didn't really follow up on some of the stuff I was supposed to follow up on. I was kind of young at the time, and I was being young. She's older than me, so she wanted something different. You mean like... A man who wouldn't smash and go on a radio program and broadcast it to the whole world? That's what you mean by different? That's not a good look, man. I learned a long time ago not to kiss and tell. Good friend of mine, the Bishop Ronald Bernard Hopes. He came to me when we were in high school, 12th grade. He was taking home economics. And he asked me to transfer my class to join him in home economics. And I'm like, man, I'm not finna get in no damn classroom with a bunch of girls. Take up no home economics. That's for girls. He said, will it? We'll be the only boys in the classroom. I was like, damn, boy, you on to something. <laughs> so, bam, I transferred. Get in the classroom. It's me, Run, and a bunch of girls. Good looking girls. So, I spent the next several months ear hustling, just listening to women's likes and dislikes for well, girls likes and dislikes and many of their likes and dislikes are very similar to women's likes and dislikes but i got a lot of my game from listening to what they liked and what they did not like one of the biggest pet peeves was guys who kiss and tear so I made myself a promise that I wouldn't do that. I vowed to not kiss and tell. I was like one of my number one things. I would not kiss and tell. Here's the thing, man. When you're with somebody, if you're dating somebody, you're hanging out with somebody, and there is a, a chemistry there, there is a relationship, some type of relationship there, you know, it's kind of like goes without saying that something may be happening. You don't have to go out and try to confirm whether something is happening or not. That's not the world's business. That's your business. So not a good look, man. Keep your mouth shut. Dudes that talk like that, man, it's just not a good look. I and, and he's not the only one. I think he's only 27 years old. But there are men in their 30s, 40s, and 50s who still talk like that. They're going to, yeah, man, I hit, boy, I got it, man. Yeah, I did that. You know, it's like they're still trying to prove their manhood, like they're worthy. It's like they... They're unsure of themselves. I was in the club once. Dude walks up to me and tell me how he... What happened was that I was talking to this girl in the club. He saw me talking to her. He don't know what it was about. 
just a regular conversation. So he walks up to me. Yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah, man. You can, you can get that man, me and my homeboy. We ran a train on him. Man, she easy. Da, 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 da. And I'm like, I ain't trying to hear that dog. I'm good. I was like, no, nah, I'm good, homie. Like, you know, get off me. You know, because what you did or how you did it, if you did anything at all, ain't got nothing to do with my conversation and where I'm going with this. You know, my actions are independent of any other man's actions with any woman. I don't care what he did or didn't do. I ride solo. I ride on my own merit. I make my move on my own merit. I decide on my own what steps that I'm going to take. It doesn't matter what another dude say because what works for one dude may not work for the next dude. One of the first lessons you learn in dating is never kiss and tell. Keep your mouth shut. Telling on your meat is worse than lying on your meat because you betray the trust of the person that you were with. If you can't respect the private intimacy of a relationship, your mama should be embarrassed and your daddy should have pulled out. No more talk. What, what the lady's talking about. Yeah. Order, text.